Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog and another episode of Clutch Throttle Go. We've got a couple of exciting things to talk about, one of which I can't wait to get to because it is such a gorgeous day outside. Just beautiful day. Dogs are out here playing around. Um, let's not talk about the random toilet here. Yeah, anyway. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into the video right after this. <music> today and i can't wait to get in here and show you what's inside and personally myself use it it is the accessory for my bike in a way kind of sorta i will say this throughout the video i have an announcement today uh, to make there's going to be two giveaways in this video i'm not going to get to them just yet i will announce them through the video so make sure you stay tuned and watch because i don't want people to like you know see this and just click off of it and be done with it but yeah stay tuned watch the video you'll see what the giveaways are and follow the instructions for the giveaways there's two of them yeah, without further ado, let's get into this unboxing. Now, if you remember right, my first unboxing I had on this channel was an unboxing fell. In my very first video in general. That was that was pretty terrible. That was, like, very, very catastrophic. Um, I did actually open this up last night. I did not open the package inside. So this is still new, still fresh to all of us. But I did, I opened, like, the cardboard part. And then changed my mind about opening the inside so I can leave it as a surprise for me and you guys. Um, so I just retaped the cardboard back. However, I have not seen this in person ever, in no store or anything. I've only seen them online, and I really wanted to get my hands on one because I have been super excited for it for a while now. So let's get into it. All right. And what accessory did we get? Well, it's kind of an accessory for the bike, but it's an accessory for any bike. It's an accessory that everyone should use. There we go. There we go. It is a shoey helmet. I'm sorry, it's a showy helmet, my bad. For you internet Nazis out there. And what's inside? Now, you all may know I have had my shoey, uh, no, I'm sorry, my showy. I'm not doing that on purpose. I'm literally just kind of used to saying shoey because it looks like shoe with an I at the end. Um, but I've had my Neotech 2 for like two months or something like that. With that being said, the Neotech 2 is putting a lot of pressure on the back of my head after like an hour and a half of riding around with it with the GoPro on there. So I decided to take it back and exchange it for the next step up. And you can only go one step up from a Neotech 2. So we got ourselves today, the top of the line helmet showy authors. Oh yeah, son. Here's our, uh, chill here. Now this is not an unboxing video, so I'm just gonna get down to it. This is actually the Shoei X14. Let's see how, oh man. Oh dude, this, I can already tell this thing's much smaller than, than the last one. Like that, that other one was just a big helmet. This thing is tiny compared to it. Man, I can't wait to get out and do my motor vlog today. It's gonna be so exciting. So let's show you all this thing. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, look at that. Man, look at all the curves on it. Oh, it's so nice. So nice. Dag on it. It's even got like a carbon fiber look right in here. That's different, that's unique. It's kind of cool. Man, this thing is. It's nicer in person than what it looks like online, really. And it does have the same uh, padding as what the uh, Neotech 2 does. Doggone, man. That's, that's something right there. All right. We're going to try this thing out real fast and see how it fits my head. Because that was where my first one fell. The first one was not only the wrong color, but it was also the wrong size. Now, that was not a showy. That was a different helmet in general. And I hope y'all can see me. Yeah, y'all should be able to see me over here. Um... I'll take the, I'll go ahead and take this sticker thingy my jigger off. I did order a small, and this one is a small. I did order the matte black, it's matte black. If you wonder why I like the matte black helmets, by the way, um, man, that thing is just nice. Uh, I like the matte black because it can go with any bike, and I do plan on doing more than just my uh, current Kawasaki Vulcan S on this channel. And it's got the D-rings on here. The other one had that quick release stuff. I like the D-rings a lot better, not gonna lie. 
So let's slip this sucker on. Uh, yeah. Oh wow, that's... <laughs> Holy crap, this thing is much lighter than the other one was. I mean, it's only supposed to be like a half pound difference, but man, check this out. Like, if my camera stuff will turn, I'm sorry if the phone screws up, but how does this look like for real? Put this down. Yeah, right? It's sick. That is sick. <sighs> all right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go on a little uh, time-lapse thing and I'm gonna install all the stuff I need on this thing. And when the time-lapse is over, we're gonna get into a video and do a motor vlog with it. How about that? So yeah, let's just get into it. All right, so before I get into this time-lapse, I just wanna say this video has proudly been sponsored by, that's right, yours truly, <laughs> right? I'm not monetized yet, so nobody's sponsored me yet. However, I wanna say that I am uh, doing a giveaway. The giveaway is, um, well, it's two giveaways actually. Um, one is going to be for the 500 sub mark and the other one is going to be for the 1000 sub mark. And I'll get into that after I do this time lapse. All right, guys, before we get into the time lapse, I just want to show you what's all going into the X14 here. Um, first of all, I'm going to install this Cardo Pack Talk Edge. That's the newest uh, one they got. This is the Purple Panda microphone that everyone goes wild about. That's what I've been using for my past few vlogs and it works out fantastically. And then I had actually ordered two different uh, chin mounts for my GoPro. Uh, I ordered two of them. I ordered the Ride Tech first and both these actually, I believe came out of Canada. But I ordered this one first and it took forever in the mail. Like it looked like it was stuck in transition. So I was a little skeptical it was gonna get here on time. So I went ahead and ordered this as, as well which they both arrived the same day, go figure. Uh, but we're gonna, I'll stop the time lapse when I get to the installation of these two, because I'm probably gonna do the uh, Pack Talk Edge over here first. Um, but I will show you all like the fitting, you know, which one of these may fit better on the X14 here in case you all wanna order one yourself. But yeah, let's go ahead and start this time lapse right now. Yeah, now. Yeah, so what I've done here is I've routed the Pack Talks uh, wires and whatnot, the main adapter to the back side or to the to the right side of the helmet, right left, yeah, right side of the helmet. I've got it wired behind this. Um, I haven't put it on yet to test the fitting, but I'm hoping this padding right here, I can feel part of the wire right there. So I don't know how that's going to do with my head, but if it's too hard on my head, I'll adjust it to where it's not. Um, I used a piece of uh, Velcro right here for that part. And it came with a clip right here. So I'll put that clip on here to hold this in place. So I'm hoping the boom mic will fit with the cheek pad. I haven't tried to install that cheek pad yet, but hopefully it will. And then of course I'm gonna run this down through the uh, chin um, skirt, wherever that went. I think that's still actually in the showy box or it's over here. Yeah, this right here, chin curtain. I'm gonna cut a hole in that and run the uh, microphone through that for the um, 
for the GoPro and whatnot. So I'll show you all the finished product when it's all said and done, but I just want to give you all an update on this time lapse. Holy crap, you guys, that was stressful. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay, so I've got it all in there. I just tried it out. It's actually still really comfortable. Nothing's in my way so far that I've seen. Uh, man, there's, those clips were on this side. That one back in here, that was a pain to get in. I actually had to unclip the other two just to see what I'm doing and get it in. Everything's good. There's like one thing that bothered me right now is this fuzzy is like that part right here. It's touching my mouth a little bit, so I might trim a few of those off, and hopefully it doesn't kill my audio quality um, when I'm doing my vlog. So we'll see what happens. This doesn't touch my mouth, and it's in there. It's not going nowhere. And once I get my chin curtain on, which I probably should have done before I ever installed my cheek pads, because I about guarantee they go underneath the cheek pads. But yeah, let's see what happens here. Oh, this has been a very long process, taking me way, way longer than it should have. So it's a good thing I time-lapsed half of that. So the next thing I'm going to do now is go ahead and see which one of these two chin mounts is actually a better fit. So we got chin mounts and we got Ride Tech. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and got the uh, Ride Tech version of the chin mounts installed here. Um, I did it for a couple of reasons instead of the uh, chin mounts, chin mounts. Um, if you notice here, I don't know how well you can see it, but the uh, Ride Tech version is definitely a cleaner looking chin mount. I know they're both... Uh, 3D printed, but they, they just did a cleaner job at it. I like the fitment a little bit more on there. I don't know, again, if you can tell that or not, but, and I like the fact that the ride tech version has a lip here, it's gonna make it easier to slide the GoPro into the, uh, the mounting piece. So at least I have another adapter if I choose to use it. And it's nothing against uh, chin mounts because they're obviously a popular website. M many people use them, but I just uh, prefer the ride tech at the moment. Um, the next thing I need to do is go ahead and put a hole right here in the chin curtain so that I can um, put the purple panda. I need to, uh, put an adapter on it because the Purple Panda has got three rings on its uh, connection, connecting piece down there. This one has two rings on it and the GoPro has to have two rings to function. Otherwise you can't get any audio out of it. It's kind of annoying. Um, and that's kind of an easy thing. So all I have to do is plug that in there, hook the GoPro up, go for a ride. And if I take it off, well, I can just unplug this, pull it out of the chin curtain and I'm good to go. So with that being said, I'm sure that people are wondering about this giveaway. So let's go ahead and talk about that, right? <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to do two different giveaways. Uh, one's for $50, and the other one's going to be for $100. The $50 giveaway is going to be for when I hit 500 subscribers, and the second one's going to be for when I hit 1,000 subscribers, okay? Uh, they're both going to be Walmart gift cards. Why Walmart? Well, why not? You can get uh, gas, food, clothing, electronics, toys, almost anything that you want, you can get at Walmart. Even online, uh, onlinewalmart.com, you can probably even get a, a showy helmet. I don't know. Uh, but that's what I'm going to go with. Also, uh, this video alone is going to be for the $50 gift card. I'm going to do a separate video for the $100 gift card. So in order to be eligible for the gift card, what you need to do is like this video, comment on this video, on this particular video, and subscribe to my channel. Now, there's uh, here's the reason why. I need you to subscribe to the channel for me, okay? Because everybody needs the subscribers and right now I need to get myself up there higher. Two, like the video for YouTube's algorithm. Okay, this helps me and you both out. Why is that? If you like the video, the more likes it has, the more YouTube recognizes that and knows that the video is being liked and it pushes it out there further for people to see it. Why is that good for both of us? Well, it's good for me because people have watched my video. It's good for you because if people click on this video and see this, then we get the subscribers up there. And when we hit that 500 sub mark, one of you all get to be the lucky winner. Um, I need you to comment on the video because the website that I'm going to use is a random comment picker. I don't really think it goes by subscribers. I think it just goes by the comments. So in order for you to be chosen, it has, you have to comment on the video for it to see it. But if I go on there and I see that the person that commented on it is not a subscriber, well, I'm going to click that randomizer again and someone else is going to get it. So be sure you subscribe to my videos. Please, I'm getting plenty of views. People love the bike. They uh, like some of the stuff I do, and I appreciate the comments and the uh, uh, appreciation that I get for my videos. I thank you so much for those of you who do that. Uh, I know $50 and $100 doesn't seem like much, but for someone who's small on YouTube at the moment, I feel like it's enough for now. I mean, it's free money out of my pocket. You, well, not free for me, but you know, I worked for it. You get it for free, right? All you have to do is hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment. It literally costs you nothing, and you have a free chance to win. So with that being said, um, here in a minute, I'm going to go ahead and cut that hole out, and we're going to take and go for a ride because it's nice outside, and I have spent way too long this morning trying to get this set up. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, with that being said, I will see you all here in just a minute. All right, guys, we're back again doing another test run, uh, kind of, sort of. Um, I wanted to test out the audio again, make sure everything's working right again, and uh, check out how the how it sounds with the vents open and stuff. So we're going to do that. I wanted to see, you know, how it's going to sound on the interstate and whatnot. Just since it's an all-new helmet, I know I've done runs before uh, testing and stuff, but I just want to make sure that all this is kosher with this new helmet. So anyway, uh, I'm going to open up the vents up and check it out, and I'm going to do it again on the interstate and see how it goes. So... Here's uh, vent number one. There's two vents on the bottom, two on top. Uh, the second one I open up seems to do a lot of airflow, but I think it's going around my ears. I don't think it's hitting the microphone, so we'll try it. So vent number one is right here. It's opened up. Vent number two is opened up now. Okay. Vent number three is open, and vent number four is open. So now all vents are opened up. Let's see. Hopefully y'all can hear me still. Because if, if it works like this, I'm going to ride like this. Because it's it's nice and breezy, actually. It's a lot better than the other one was. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and close vent number one. It's closed. I'm going to close vent number two. It's closed. I'm going to close vent number three. It's closed. And vent number four. It's closed. All right. So there's one thing about the last helmet that I do kind of miss, and that is it, it, it had a built-in visor. Um, so this one, I don't have a transition sealed, and I don't know if I want to get one or not, because I don't know if it's going to transition to the amount of darkness I really want. So it's like, do I want to toss the money for it, or do I not want to toss the money for it? Um, very, uh, very unsure. <laughs> I need to get my glasses out and see if I can wear the glasses with this helmet or not. Oh, it's a dip. It's a dip. Oh, I hit that same one earlier, but I, I didn't pay attention so much last time, and I busted my balls on it. I also went that way this time, and I'm going to go this way this time because traffic was awful, and somebody about, well, they didn't about, they did straight up cut me off earlier, and I skidded my tires and everything. I found it, I went sideways on my bike. It was a, a pretty epic uh, save. I was very epic at the same time. But yeah, here's, uh, I mean, a little bit faster. We'll try it at 50. I want to I see how the vents do. So vent one, vent number two, vent number three. Oh, good, I hope this works. If I can find it. Vent number three, where you at? There's vent three. And vent number four. So all vents are opened up. And I'm doing like 50 to 55. So hopefully y'all can hear me. I don't know. But I'll go ahead and close them. So vent, closing vent one. Closing vent, oh that was vent 2, my bad. Closing vent uh, 1 now, that was vent 2. So there's vent 1, and then closing vent 3, and vent 4. There we go, so they're all closed again. And I'm going to do the same thing again on the uh, interstate, like I said. I'm just going to do the loop. I'm going to get on uh, get on the exit up here and go up to 10th Street over for Jeffersonville and just take their really crappy roundabout and then go back around again. We're going to see how it is. I have to say though, man, people say that you can't really feel the wind on this thing. I, I really can't. Like I can, I can't feel the wind at all. Not on my helmet. I can feel it on my chest and everything like that. But like, it's not beating me, and I don't have a windscreen. So that's a pretty awesome thing. What's up, dude? Um, I think my headset's trying to play something. I don't want it to play something. Stop. Whatever you're doing. There we go. I don't know what it was doing. <laughs> Saying playing 99 points. I don't know. I, I, I guess it heard me say something that was misinterpreted. Who knows? I can say this. I can barely feel the GoPro on this thing. Like the last helmet, it, it didn't. It, it made a significant difference in the weight. So it was painful on my head. But this time I can barely feel it. So I'm really hoping it uh it, it pans out that way. But then again, the other one didn't bother me at all, you know much till about an hour and a half into it. So hopefully this is, uh, I can ride it for longer than that. Cause I'd like to ride for, you know, two to three hours in one day with it on the whole time and, you know, cut bits and pieces out of the video and make a motor vlog out of it. So nobody wants to watch you for three hours riding a bike. I mean, my one video proved that because I had a uh, Glacier National Park on there. <laughs> they don't have very many views on it. Okay, we're gonna go this way cause I don't want to toll. So we're gonna take this way. All right. Man, this sun sucks right now. All right, we're getting on the interstate. Hopefully y'all can still hear me pretty good. I don't really know. If this mic fails again, I'm gonna be so mad. 
All right. Well, no, why is nobody doing the speed on the interstate? What the heck? I was doing this a minute ago. Well, this sucks. I'm at, I'll, I'll do it on the way back. Apparently, this way is just bad. There we go. Get up to a little bit of speed, right? All right, let's go ahead and try to open them up. I mean, I'm going a little bit faster. So, vent one, open. Vent two, open. That's the noisy one. Vent three, open. Vent four, open. So, now all the vents are open, and I'm doing like 70 right now. So, let's see if y'all can hear me. And uh, just in case you can't, let's go ahead and start closing them again. So, vent one is closed. Vent two is closed. Vent three is closed and vent four is closed so all vents are closed now so let's see if that made any difference or not because if not man i'm definitely wearing it with the vents open oh and i can still like i mean the wind is fine even turning my head i mean i, I can feel the wind a little bit like but it's not beating the crap out of me or nothing the last one it was kind of beating me up some you know what i might not have to go to 10th street i don't think i have to i think i'm gonna turn around right here yeah let's do that Screw 10th Street. 10th Street sucks. It's awful. We might have to make a U-turn up the road, though. But It is what it is. I'd rather make a U-turn up the road than I would have to go all the way to 10th Street. But now we got to get through this, and this is sucky, too. Everybody likes to fly up to the road and then slow down in the corner so the people that want to turn here don't know when they can go. You can go. You can go. You can go. Because I'm going to go. I ain't waiting. There we go. Thank you, Mr. Good Driver. You know what you're doing. I don't know if you got a rental or if you're really a New Yorker, but thank you. Uh, you must be in a rental. New Yorkers drive crazier than that. That does look like a newer Jeep, so you never know. No, you know what, I can probably just take this road going back home. It ain't no big deal. No, 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 no. I don't want to do that, actually. I know better than that. The rush hour traffic's crappy up here, too, and I don't want to stay stopped forever, so I think I'm going to do is definitely turn up here. Ooh, that was a big bug that hit me. Jeez. You know what, we're just going to pull off right here. And we're just going to go around. Oh, oh. got to love the rocks. Ooh, I don't like these rocks. I don't like these rocks at all. Ooh, no, 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 not these rocks. Ooh, and that's a heck of a... Jesus, that's a big curve. Wow, getting my bike up that? Okay. Okay, maybe the rush hour track wasn't too bad. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm just going to go up here a little bit and take this, because that's a big dip in the road, or to cut off the curb. We just want to go left as soon as we can. There we go. I still saved a bunch of time on the traffic. You have no idea. All right. Plus, I've like caged up the dogs five times a day, so I think they're getting a little upset with me at this point. I kind of like to get them out, and then, of course, tomorrow I go back out and do this again or something, make another metal vlog. All right on the interstate or a bypass or whatever you want to call this it's not the actual interstate but it's connected with the interstates nobody coming i'm good man i really hope this audio is better this time be very this dis very very disappointing if not all right hey that was like 80 so you know what? If any vent's gonna screw up, this one will. So let's try that second one. There, it's opened up. And I'll try the bottom one too, because those are the two ones that's really gonna mess with it. So let's see how well y'all can hear me still. So hopefully y'all can hear me now. If not, then, I mean, it is what it is. But I'll go ahead and close them now, closing the bottom one, closing the upper one. There we go, now they're both closed. Let's see what kind of difference that made. I have a lot of visibility in this thing. I'm really enjoying that. Like, I can look straight forward and I can somewhat see my, I can see my speedometer for the, for the most part. It, it cuts up, it kind of cuts a little bit, like waves up and down on me with the helmet on. 
like my uh the, the, i just touched the jaw i'm sorry i didn't mean to touch you all um the bottom of the visor where it connects to the plastic of my helmet where my where I, you know i bob up and down a little bit you know from time to time it wants to kind of go up on my uh speedometer a little bit otherwise I, I have pretty good visibility in this thing i like it i like it i love it i want some more of it didn't i say i was never gonna do that again i am so sorry i'm such a bad person oh by the way um I mentioned this earlier, and I'm going to mention again, I have a giveaway going on, and uh, it's already been spoken, so if you um, uh, skipped to now, well then you skipped it, so you might want to go back and watch the part of the video, just saying, um, yeah, and I'll give you a hint, I was inside, I was inside the house still, I wasn't on the vlog, I wasn't on the bike, and I was still getting stuff set up. I was almost done getting stuff set up. So that's a, that's a good enough thing. You know what? I'm going to shut up there. Go back, watch it. And uh, I'm just going to tell you again. Make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like this video. And make sure you comment. You have to do all three. Got to do it. I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm not sorry. You, you just got to do it. <laughs> it is what it is. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off here. Because usually when I get to this point, I'm like, you know what? We're close enough to home. And I don't want a bunch of creeps showing up at my house. So I'm going to hop off here. And uh, I will see you all when I get to the house. And uh, we will talk about this. And we will end this. All right. See you then. All right, guys, we made it back to the house. Um, it was actually a really nice day out to ride, and it's supposed to be nice all weekend. So if I don't go back out tonight, I'm definitely going to go back tomorrow and uh, do another vlog, probably. But that being said, man, this helmet and holy crap, excuse the mess. Holy crap, excuse the mess. Wow, it's terrible on the table. But if you noticed earlier in the vlog, you know, when I first started it, it was pretty clean. So it just tells you how much uh, time it took to put this stupid thing together. But anyway, with that being said, I will have this cleaned off later tonight. So don't cry at me. Don't complain. You shouldn't anyway. It's my table, so back off, right? No. The only issue that I noticed uh, at all with this helmet, and it wasn't with the helmet or airflow or anything. It was actually my stupidity because I cut the furters off of the, the purple panda. You know, the, the this thing that helps with the audio quality. Yeah, I cut those off because they were like tickling my mouth and stuff earlier. Kind of annoying. Um, so I need to figure out a different way to tidy those up against the front of the helmet down here. And I think that's why the audio got kind of choppy and and distorted or whatever term you want to use for it um, and at higher speeds. Because at lower speeds it was fine. Even with the vents all open it was fine. So I'm probably going to use those uh, vents quite often when I'm moto vlogging because it gets kind of hot. Yeah, I'll probably order another purple panda, put that in there and find a way to tidy it up and I will get rid of that uh, choppiness. But Anyway, guys, with that being said, let me try to get this light out of your eyes. I'm sorry. Don't forget about the giveaway. Like I said, there's two of them. One's for this. I mentioned both of them, but one's for this video and one's going to be for a video down the road. Uh, it literally costs you nothing, okay? It costs you nothing. All you got to do is click that subscribe button. I know you hear this from every other YouTuber you see, and there's probably a reason why they do it. Hey, I'm taking advice from them. You know, I'm, I'm learning lessons, taking YouTube lessons, if you will. Successful people got to do it a certain way, and I'm trying to be a successful person. So, Hit that uh, subscribe button. Be sure to like the video. It pushes it out in the algorithm and be sure to comment. You have to subscribe and comment if you want to be a part of it. You don't have to like it. I would just suggest liking it. Keep in mind as well that just because there's 500 people that you might be going up against, again, it's free for you to do it. And it's a lot better chances of winning my giveaway than it is a lottery. Of course, it might be a lot lower. I'm sorry about that, but it's something, right? But I'm gonna quit jabbering about that, guys. Um, like I said, I'm gonna go back out tomorrow, make another vlog. With that being said, I'm probably going to cut this video now because it's getting way too long and I'm starting to like lose my voice because this is take number 10. Yeah, that's me. Um, Y'all ride safe out there. Be careful. Don't do anything that I would do. I wouldn't do. Whatever. Yeah. Peace out. I'll see you in the next one. Later. So this is a little bit later on in the video after I've already been back home, but check out the river right here. Beautiful side of the river. Yeah, down here at a place called CCCC Club, as you can see. Place down the road from where we're at, and decided to go get a bite to eat. So, I'll show you the good food they have here in a minute. Got my brother with me. Want to say hi? No. Oh, he doesn't want to say hi. He's being a butthead. <laughs> anyway, figured I'd cut this into the video and uh, chill for a minute. But like, but yeah, check out this food. It's freaking delicious. Philly cheese steak and some mashed potatoes. Did I really just say mashed potatoes? 
It's a mac and cheese. <laughs> yeah, it's a mac and cheese. <laughs> I've only had like part of one, not even. Like, it's still got plenty of. Jesus. What is wrong with me? It's been a long day. All right, see you. Bye.